Hey there guys, this is Basinger through and through. Sorry for skipping the intro there, but I'm pretty sure that that trailer is copyright infringement or whatever. Today we'll be playing Overwatch for the PlayStation 4, and I know you're saying that the PC version is obviously the better option. It was cheaper, but my computer can't handle it. So I'm stuck with uh, the piss-poor peasant console version. Shit. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let me do something real quickly. Apparently I cannot connect online. I try to make sure, like, I close all my, uh, internet software stuff. I'm not sure about the neighbors, though, because, like, I'm not, sorry, not the neighbors, my, um, niece, nephew, and my sister, if they're using the internet or not. I'm entering a game already? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's start playing, I guess, or should we go to a tutorial first off? Yeah, so let's learn the basics of Overwatch before we play, although I probably know most of what's to come I should be um, aware of what to do just in case the tutorial is a brief introduction to the basics of overwatch I'm also not sure about the uh, game modes and stuff like that so just to be safe I know this game has been I am Athena I watched some of the trailers. I definitely remember who Athena is. She's the training program from uh, Winston's lab or something. Wait for me! Hiya, Tracer here. Hey, Tracer. Let's get started. Now, where's that butt? <laughs> oh fuck! You really gonna censor that too? I cannot. Uh, I know there's a lot of controversy. Oh my god, that's a firm butt. <laughs> yeah, I know there's like a lot of controversy from Tracer and her butt. That's pretty much most of my extent aside from the trailers of what overwatch is all about okay i all right move as she moves around the hangar okay seems basic so far can i adjust my sensitive wait a minute can i adjust my sensitivity just in case because i feel like um my uh oh there we go yeah, my sensitivity seems really low, so I just want to increase it just in case, so that'll be... Yeah, yeah, Tracer, just wait up. And... Uh, that's good enough, I guess. Maybe a little bit faster, but I want a little bit more control as well, so... X is jump. And I could just experiment with the controls by swipe. Like that. That's not hard, is it? Welcome to the target. She's a cheery girl, I gotta say. Alright. Is this the uh, shooting range, I'm guessing? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. I can't shoot right now, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to wait for the enemies. Alright. 76. That seems like a generic number. Alright. Does it regenerate, or am I stuck like that? Is there like a medic class? Okay. Aim through the crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Move them over the train box, then fire. Alright. Nicely done. You can also strike a target near you with the Like that? <laughs> oh, that is strong. A little harder to hit than that one. Okay. Let me get you something a little more challenging. It doesn't seem like I could aim down sights right now, so... Wherever I'm shooting, I gotta make sure I'm aiming properly. Okay, I, mean, I, I can easily imagine like if you're using mouse and keyboard controls, this would be a lot more easier. I got 25, 50 ammo left. Alright. Oh, no, it always replenishes, never mind. Okay. That's a, an ability? Oh, that's interesting. Sprint is not... Okay. In addition to sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with biotic field. I'm not sure if this is this character specifically, or... Oh, whoa. Deploy a biotic field. You will heal while you're within the glowing area. Well, that's fine. Note that you will have to wait a short time before using that ability again. Huh. Oh, so it's kind of like Smite in League of Legends in that regards as well. Where, 
you can like obviously you can like spam that. You have to like wait for your abilities to recharge and such. In the same vein, I think Borderlands has that ability as well with the regenerating shields and L2 is a, yeah. So okay, so definitely L2 is like there is no aim down sights like regular shooting games. Uh, I already did that. Sorry. Oh, it actually leaves an imprint too. That's oh. ow. <laughs> okay. Damage the targets with Helix rockets to continue. Uh, which targets? This one? Or whatever's coming up here? Damage what targets again? Damage the targets with Helix rockets to continue. Uh... Wait, what targets are we talking about? I'm not seeing any targets. Oh, those targets! They're literal- They're literal targets! What am I thinking? Uh, I thought it was gonna be like a little bit of robotic enemies that are coming by again, but... Ultimate these powerful abilities can change the course of the game, but you must fully charge it before using it. It's interesting. So this guy has a sprint ability, which is basically in every single military shooter. It's infinite too. Oh, this one. That requires 15 seconds, okay. Uh, shit, what did she say again? I'm guessing you shoot these things. Ultimate is 50% charge. Alright. Tactical visor is charged. Okay, and that's the triangle button. Optimizes your shots so they do not miss. Oh. Now that seems fun. Visor and destroy the training. I've got you in my sights. <laughs> so it's basically auto aim. Easy money, I guess. All right. For the final phase of the training program, I'll show you how to capture an objective. All right. Your current objective is indicated with the directional marker labeled A. Head. The objective is marked with a bright outline on the ground. While you are within the area, you make progress towards capturing the objective. So it's like Alpha Broco Charlie. Whatever. The, what's the B one? Alpha if Beta Charlie. In the area with you. Or Adam Broly Charlie whatever that co that Call of Duty mode you know where does that capture the flag and such like that? Okay, no enemies. I imagine there's gonna be. All right. We play the tutorial or face off against other. I'm not sure if I'm ready against other players just yet. I'm probably gonna try and practice against an AI before I do anything not like that. But I feel like oh shit I forgot to turn on the timer. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll pretend that this training segment is a uh, unlock. Oh, sorry, not an unlock. It's a. Uh, I was looking at the unlock feature on the right side. Uh, uh, let's just say that this is um, the first part, which is basically a tutorial. So, the next part, I guess, we'll be um, covering a lot more stuff later on, possibly fighting against other players as well. It's only been eight minutes, though. Hmm. Actually, that's probably a good time to. Uh, options. Hold on. Oops. I'm looking at the. Uh, thing at my uh, game Elgato screen not the uh, actual screen I got a code apparently hold on I'm not sure how to input it though link account oops linking a battle.net account will disconnect you are you sure you want to proceed no not yet at least yeah I have a I apparently have the origins edition and there's a code down here not exactly sure how to input it though go to battle.net dot com slash code creature free all right i should probably make a battle net code then just in case so we'll be right back and then i'll probably set that up and uh claim my origins digital origins edition digital goodies all right then let's do that